So what is it? It's not a beehive. It's not a lobster trap. It's a kitty condo and it's fun and easy to make if you have a CNC router and a couple of bits from Freud. So in order to make all the parts for the kitty condo, we're going to use a CNC router and we're going to employ these two specialty CNC routing bits from Freud. One of them is the engraving bit and that's the one that we're going to use to engrave the number for each hoop, which will help you keep them in the proper sequence when you're assembling it. The other is a spiral bit to cut out the main hoops themselves. Now we're providing the free downloadable programming for this for both the cutout and the engraving. And it's important to notice that we register the plywood in the same place every time. You're going to be making 32 cuts, so you really need to get, figure out a way to do that. We have blocking on the back that registers it for us. You'll notice that we're going to put an A in one corner and a B in the other corner. That's because you get those two pieces out of each, each piece of plywood. We're going to engrave and cut the hoop out. Now, you only, if you do this properly, you only need to register the X and the Y one time and then you'll change the Z for the, for the engraving or the cutout. The A and the B you'll see notated in the program. There'll be a 1A and a 1B with each of the programs that we provide for you. So let me show you how we go about doing that and we're going to start with the engraving. Just as with the engraving, once we got done cutting the first piece on this piece of plywood, spun it around, got it registered completely correctly, and now we're ready to cut the second one. With the parts all machined, you can go ahead and start assembling. You start with the flat back panel, and then you alternate spacers and hoops going up. It's important to keep the hoops in the proper order, hence the engraving that we did on each hoop. So, how do you do it? You take a spacer, a little bit of glue, and it's important to align the flat spot of the spacer to the inside of the hoop. Spacer, hoop, spacer, hoop. That's all there is to it. A little bit of glue goes a long way on this. So that's all there is to it. Once I'm done assembling all of these pieces, I'll take a couple of clamps clamp it until the glue cures, and then it's time to either put a finish on or not, as you choose. So that's it. I have to say it was surprisingly easy to assemble. Now we used Baltic birch plywood in this case, but just about any kind of plywood would likely work fine. We also put a coat of shellac on here just to keep it clean, but any kind of finish would work. You could paint it, you could put a poly finish on, or a lot of people would just choose to leave it natural, unfinished completely. Now, this is a perfect CNC project. If we were to do this with a handheld router or a handheld jigsaw drill press, it would take a lot of time, a lot of sanding. So if you know someone who has cats or maybe little dogs, grab our free downloadable programming, get to your CNC router and get busy. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.